let's just sew whatever. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today, I have another quick gift video. Um, this is in thanks to my friend Lily who messaged me and was like, hey, you know another quick gift is uh, makeup remover pads. And I was like, you're right. So I was thinking about it and um, so I have this hand towel from Target that was like maybe $1.50 and I'm gonna use knit scraps and my serger to make makeup remover scrubbies and then we're gonna test them out and see how they work in the end. So if you're interested, keep watching. Okay, so I've got a ton of knit scraps and I'm sure if you guys make clothing or gifts, you probably do too. So I'm just gonna use cotton lycra and this hand towel and we'll see what we can make. So I'm just going to cut out various circle shapes. I kind of want some bigger ones for um, like facial cleansing and then you can make smaller ones for just eye makeup remover or if you use um, like acne cleanser and stuff like that that you want more concentrated, less area. So I'm just going to cut out a bunch of circles. I never actually hit record. I was talking the whole time. <laughs> okay, so I cut out large circles from scraps and what I did was just cut squares you could also trace like various cuts and whatnot but I folded it in half and then in half again and I'm just cutting like a quarter circle to make the full circle I'm gonna go ahead and make three, but I feel like a great gift set would consist of five and maybe like a little makeup bag. Um, or you could even buy like a set of two washcloths, turn one into makeup removers, and then maybe even sew the same fabric to the bottom of it just to make it like a cute little set. Okay, so I've got these circles and then I'm gonna go ahead and just lay them onto the towel. I'm gonna do wrong sides together. You could also use, um, I know they have like cuddle cloth from Joann's or I've seen it at quilt shops, but I'm just gonna go ahead and cut squares. I think you could probably even use a little bit of quilt batting in between if you wanted to make them more absorbent. Oh, I'm so excited for this big one. Um, my friend Lily and I also kind of discussed, oh, it would be kind of cool if you use like a chamois because there's a brand called Face Halo, I believe, and they've been compared to just like a chamois. So that could work too. So I'm cutting out these big chunks because when I surge them together I'll just use that to cut off the excess so I'm gonna go ahead and make these three and uh clip them together I haven't decided if I want to add any quilt batting or cotton batting you wouldn't want to use like a polyester oh my gosh I'm so excited I have to make a bunch of these for like friends and family. <laughs> so I'm just using these hair clips from Sally Beauty. If you're going to wash these, you could probably use a bit of basting spray too. And so I'm ready to surge. Could my husband be making any more freaking noise? I don't think so. <laughs> okay, so I've got my serger all ready to go. Um, like I said, if you're gonna use any kind of um, batting, make sure it's all cotton, 100%. And I'm using my serger. I've got knit thread in there, but you don't need like that stretch thread. You could just use all purpose. I'm just gonna go around in a circle. So I'm 
I've got like a face scrubber. So there's like a soft side and then a really get in there side. So I'm gonna go ahead and make these two others. Sewing in a circle is not easy, but I'm getting there. So yeah, I'm gonna, there's like no good place to start. All right, starting on a corner, work my way in. And then it's just kind of like pushing and pulling. like do this in squares and you'd make like actual washcloths or something also. This is fun. I'm excited. You just freaking ruined it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What's up? I'm home. Welcome. This I'm almost I, done. This is what I got from Josie. She might hear. Oh. Those are cool. Oh. <laughs> good footage mm -hmm. I mean it worked right yeah I bet the soft side would be nicer oh please it's in my eye no don't stop filming them oh that feels so much better did it work am I beautiful now you're always beautiful So yeah, these are actually really awesome. I'm using um, my astringent now for like blackheads and stuff. It feels really cool. So don't think I have to make more of these in probably smaller sizes because this is the smallest one I made and it's pretty large. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make some for the people in your life because I'm all about, well, I'm not all about, I try when I can to reduce my waste. Right, Ben? Yeah? Right? Right. <laughs>